Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. I'm going to be making a recipe out of the second edition of the Go Taste and See cookbook, and it is soft pretzels. So, um, let me show you what we're doing, and I'll tell you the story behind this. Okay, so, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a half a cup of warm water and a teaspoon of sugar into a small bowl. So, this is my small bowl. I've got my warm water here, and I actually, um... Put it in the, turn the um, sink on as hot as I could go. And then uh, let it sit out for a few seconds. So that's the perfect temperature. Um, and a teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar? Yeah. Okay, so um, the other day a friend of mine from church asked me if I would help her um, with a little birthday party she's got going this week. And she's wanting some um like little um sandwiches and so hey sister and um so she wants some pretzel bread and i was like oh, i can make some pretzel bread um and i'm gonna make some other some more breads for her as well so okay so pause on the story it says to put one teaspoon of sugar in a small bowl until sugar is dissolved sugar is dissolved and then you sprinkle the yeast on top of that and you're gonna need um, either a fourth of an ounce of yeast or two and a half tea, uh, teaspoons of active dry yeast. Sprinkle that on top. And then it says to let that sit for about 10 minutes. So um, I'm gonna let this sit over here and dissolve for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go take care of her and I'll be back. All right, guys, it's cold in my house. I had to put on my granny sweater. Um, okay, so in a large bowl, you're going to put a cup of warm water and a tablespoon of sugar in here until, that's, until the sugar is dissolved. Quickly give that a little stir. Okay, and then it says um, you're going to add salt, and you need a half a teaspoon of salt, and the um, yeast. Make sure it should be all nice and bubbly and amazing now. So I've got my half a teaspoon of salt. It's going in there. And my yeast mixture okay so i got that in there and then it says to gradually mix in flour until a stiff dough forms so you need three and three-fourths cups of flour so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and do the three-fourths cup i should have measured this out in a separate bowl but i'm just going to go ahead and put the three-fourths cup of flour in there and then I can work on, that way I don't lose track of um, how much flour is in there. So I'm going to start with doing it with a spoon and stir that in. Did I say flour or sugar? I can't remember. Anyways, I'm making this because my friend is needing pretzel dough or pretzel bread for um, a party and I was like, I've made pretzels before. I think it's the same. And um, so I found a recipe in one of our cookbooks for pretzels. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of experiment because in the past when I made pretzels, I had to put it in, um, you like uh, put the, the pretzel ball or the, the dough pretzel in um, water that's got baking soda in it so that it um, like forms a, a crust on it. Or I guess that's why I don't really know the science. But anyway, that's what you do. But in this recipe, it doesn't say anything about baking, a uh, baking soda bath. So I'm going to, this makes 12 pretzels. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to make 
three pretzels and put them in a pretzel bath. And I'm gonna make three pretzels exactly the way this recipe says, and, or a pretzel bath, a, a baking soda bath. Um, and then I'm gonna make three pretzels that do exactly like this. And then I'm gonna make three balls um, so that it would be more of like a roll and um, not do the baking soda bath and then three pretzels uh, with the baking soda bath. I think that's right, that's what I said. But so that's that's what I'm gonna do to kind of, um, kind of just test it out and see. And then I will do whichever one works the best, but I want some pretzels anyway, so win-win. So we'll see if this if this recipe makes good. Um, she wants like little slider sandwiches, like little mini sandwiches. So I'm gonna make um, pretzel bread and challah and um, some uh, Dutch oven bread. Um, and I will video all of those as well. I was, really shouldn't have done that with the, but I'll video those and put them on, um, on here as well. So. I'll have a whole like bread series um, and then we'll we'll see how that works you I also have to make fruit dip and uh, vegetable dip so we'll um, we'll just have a whole whole little party going on so that's all the bread flour I'm gonna need and so it'll be fun I like making bread it smells good. It makes your house smell really good. And it makes, um, you know, bread's just good to eat. Just, I mean, I know you, a lot of people are, don't eat bread anymore for whatever reasons, but, um, I always liked bread, so, and I like making it. It's fun to make. Okay, so it says gradually mix in flour until stiff dough forms. And then you turn out onto a lightly floured surface and you knead for about five minutes until smooth and elastic. And then you let it rest for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna, but if this, if this bread works, then um, I will make two dozen little rolls and um, for her party for that and then make the holla. I like making holla too. I did a one hour bread recipe um, the other day and that was actually a recipe that I got found online somewhere at some point in time. And um, it's really cool because it literally takes one hour to make and you don't have to really think about anything. And, um, and that's good. And, but I'll, I'll link that to, to this recipe, that recipe to this recipe and we'll, uh, you can try that one too and let me know what you think about that. And if you've ever made pretzels bread, let me know if I'm, you know, if this is right or wrong. This is a stiff, pretty stiff dough so and I didn't use quite use all the um, three and a half cups or three and three-fourths cups I probably used about three cups of flour so I don't know if I did something wrong there but we'll see okay it says to knead it for about five minutes until it's smooth and elastic -y. so we'll just go about kneading the bread, kneading the dough. This is something that just takes forever to do. And I don't know if I need dough right. I just, I mean, I've seen people need dough and this is kind of what they do. So this is kind of what I'm doing. It's probably one person saw somebody doing it this way and so they started doing it this way and then everybody else started doing it this way and nobody really knows if this is the right way or not but it's just the way that it's always been done 
So, who knows? So, I'm going to continue to knead this, and um, we'll be right back. Or, I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay guys so i have uh kneaded my dough for about five probably closer to 10 minutes or so but um it is popping back up when i push it down not leaving indention so i don't know if you can see that on the camera or not but um so now it just says to let it rest for 10 minutes. So I'm going to put a, um, a dish towel over that and let it rest for about 10 minutes and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so my dough has been resting for about 10 minutes. Good. Okay, so it's been resting for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to divide it into 12 and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So, I've got a nifty little um, thing. I don't know what it's called. But I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. I'm just going to mark it. So, that's where I'm going. So, and that will give me... How many is that? That's only eight. Okay, well, how do you do 12 then? Let's see. That's eight. I did that wrong. <laughs> so, and I've already done it. So, um, see, so that's eight. I should have realized that that was gonna be like that. Um, so I need what, four more. So let's see, how am I going to do that? We're just going to make giant pretzels. So, um, that's what we're going to do. Because I think if yeah, we're just going to make giant pretzels. So, it says to do these in 15-inch um, ropes. So, I'm going to move these over here. And like I said earlier, I'm going to do half um, ropes and half, um, or half pretzels, pretzel shapes. Half of them in... Uh, roll form and then um of those i'm gonna do half of the rolls i'm gonna do in the baking soda water and half i'm gonna do in not baking soda water because we're gonna test and see how these um how these do so i need a little bit more space so I've got two different cookie sheets. I've got a cookie sheet that's got white parchment paper on it, and I've got a cookie sheet that's got uh, brown paper parchment paper, brown parchment paper on it, so I can see what um, what it, which one does right. Okay, so pretzel shape, you just kind of do that. No, you twist it, don't you? Yeah, it looks like a pretzel. Is that pretzel is she shape? Yeah, that's what a pretzel looks like. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna do two that are not baking soda water and two that are baking soda water of the pretzel shapes and then I'll do two rolls. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all, I talk to myself a lot. Um, most of the time it's because I need an expert opinion. Hi. Um, no, but seriously, most of the time it's because I forget things. 
And so I just, if I talk it out to myself, then it's easier to, um, to figure out. So you take it, you twist it, and you poke those down. I don't know, those are 15 inches. Probably wasn't a full 15 inches, but what? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna do two rolls, and the way I'm gonna do that is just, y'all ignore her hair, it's crazy. Um, I'm just gonna fold it in the bottom so that the top is nice and round shaped, and then I'm just gonna kind of work it Hold on. <laughs> Around. Kind of pushing it down with the palm of my hand and under. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's going to be that roll. And then I'm going to do the same for this. Just kind of pull everything under and make the top as smooth as I can. And then just kind of press the dough under as I'm rolling and trying to make it into like a little ball. So, and obviously these are not equal sizes because those are not equal sizes. So those are my four non bacon sodaed ones. And now I'm gonna do the ones that I'm gonna put in the bacon soda. Hold on. Oh. I'm gonna set that over there. Marianne. She's playing in the dog water again. It'll just be something I'll have to clean up in a minute. Set that over there, and then I'll make this one into my roll. And I'm just kind of pressing down and pulling out at the same time. That's probably closer to the 15 inches. All right, so you take it like that. And you twist it. Yeah, that looks more pretzely. It's a big pretzel. So I'm gonna take this one, do the same with it. And I'm just trying to make it all the same thickness. Of course, it doesn't always make it all the same thickness, but I'm trying to make it this as a uh, even as possible, but that's not gonna be 100% possible all the time. So, call that there, take it, twist it, and push it down. So, there's my two that I'm gonna do in the baking soda water, and I got two that I'm gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna let them rest for a little bit. It doesn't say to let it rest. It just put it in a 425 degree oven, but I'm gonna let it rest while my oven is preheating. I almost forgot the egg. So um, on the ones that aren't having the baking soda bath, um, it says to take an egg, a large egg, and fork whisk it. And then brush the tops of this with your egg wash. Oh, I was supposed to add a tablespoon of water. Hold on. Hold on, sister. Okay, so I put my tablespoon of water in with my egg yolk. Mix that up real quick. All right, now I'm gonna egg wash it. And you can't see what I'm doing. All right. There. So 
I'm gonna brush that with the egg yolk and water mixture. And it's a one egg and a one tablespoon of water. And then it says to um, uh, put some coarse salt. If you want, you can also put uh, melted butter, garlic uh, powder on these if you want that flavor. Um, so says the recipe. So I've got kosher salt <clears throat> and it's a, it's a fairly coarse salt. Ooh, too much salt on that. That may be too much salt. Do that. Okay, and I'm not gonna put salt on my rolls because I don't want salt on my rolls. So, but I am going to, before I put them in the oven, I'll crisscross it so it'll um, be that pretty pretzel rolly looking thing. So I've got my water boiling. I'm fixing to add water to that and then I'll dip uh, my pretzels, these pretzels in that water and then we'll stick them in the oven. Okay, so my water was boiling. And I'm gonna put a, probably a little less than a fourth of a a, uh, a cup into the baking soda bath. And then I've got this nifty little thing right here. And I'm going to, let's see if we can move the camera right here. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this in here for about 30 seconds or so, just kind of flip it around. And then put it back on my parchment paper. Do the same for this one, just kind of leave it in there for a little bit. Get it nice and I flip it a couple of times and then get that get as much of the excess water off as I can. It's time for the pretzels. Do the same, kind of dunk it so it gets all the coated all the way over. It's kind of hard to roll a pretzel. It can be done. It's just kind of hard to do. So I think that's long enough for that. Ooh. And that's my oven is preheated. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and put salt on my pretzels cause I like salt on my pretzels. On the rolls, I'm not going to because um, like I said, I don't really like uh, salt like that on my rolls but with on pretzels let's shake these a little bit i'm gonna leave those like that and um i'm gonna actually keep my baking soda water just because um if this works depending on which one works eh, i might not that's Really a lot of salt on there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'm going to do the cross on my pretzel rolls. Nice X go in there. I might not have gone deep enough. So, I'm gonna, yeah, that'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna stick these in the oven for um, about 15 minutes at 425. So, we'll see which ones we like better. Okay, guys, so. Okay, guys, so these are the rolls and the pretzels that uh, just had the egg wash on them. And these are the uh, baking soda bath pretzels and egg, and uh, egg rolls and rolls um i will say that this pan was on top as well so that could be some of the difference with the color the the browning but these to me just look better than these so let's um 
cut into them and see, I'll do one of each and see what we think. I'll do the bigger one. All right, so uh, these are the egg wash and these are the other, the bacon soda. Roll's done. It's a little doughy, but it it looks good. All right. They the rolls pretty much have the same kind of um, outer shell to them. I think this one's a little bit more doughy than this one, but maybe it needs to go in for just a little bit longer. But that's not a big deal breaker on that okay so now for the pretzels and these pretzels didn't um I think that was hard to do they didn't they're not like pretzels like i i think of a pretzel whenever i think you know pretzels so it's more um i think of more of a pull apart this is taste looks more like a bread Yeah. Mm. Okay. So the bacon soda one kind of tastes more like a pretzel. And other than the salt, the the egg wash one doesn't really taste like a pretzel. So I don't know. We'll see. But I like it. It's good. It's good bread. Bread's always good. Bread's always good. So if you like this uh, video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Sunday Potluck. And we'll see you next time. Bye.